what I can say is this, and this is a lesson that we need to learn and people refuse to learn this lesson. Never assume in football. Say one last, one last time for the kids at the back. Never assume in football. What was everyone saying on social media? Oh my gosh, Kane is going to win his first trophy. Like, is Kane going to be in the squad? If he's in the squad, literally in 24 hours, he's going to win his first trophy. And I put out a, a tweet. And I was all about it, but I put out a tweet saying that, like, Leipzig stand up. Leipzig have to say what's up. They can't allow Bayern to win their first, allow Kane to win his first trophy 24 hours after leaving Tottenham. And that's just how it is with, it, with these things. Never assume. Never assume. I think somebody even mentioned Leipzig beat them last year in the Super Cup. So, because what I looked at Bayern, like Bayern had chances. They had several opportunities. And you know what though, the funny thing is? Now, maybe when a new player comes, you shouldn't, you shouldn't start him. No, you should, especially if it's a big-time player, you shouldn't really start him straight off, especially when it's so close. But because I've just seen Jude Bellingham score for Real Madrid, but he's been with Real for a long time. Homeboys just joined the squad 24 hours ago. So, he needs time to get in sync with how the team plays, which will take, take time. Because he's had no, he's hardly had any training sessions with these guys. But it's like, if Kane started, the, the amount of opportunities that fell to tell, that fell to Janabri, I mean, if Kane had at least a half of those opportunities, I mean, he'd get at least a, a two piece. Because Banshaw's got a lot more goals. Now, Leipzig like have the chances. And shout out to your boy Olmo. Your boy almost said what's up because those were two quality goals that he scored. But I want to say something crazy. But I think that because I even said it's because guys, we keep on assuming, oh, 11 in a row. What if King comes and never wins a trophy for, for Bayern? It seems crazy. It seems mad because it's like, no, that's impossible. Like, how? What if King comes? And for whatever reason, that's when it, if that happens, he's jumping out the window. He's either going to jump out the window or he's going to go into a, an ocean with flesh-eating piranhas. Either one of those two. But it's like, I mean, what? I mean, because <laughs> I said to myself that Tuchel may, may get sacked. Tuchel may get sacked. And this just shows you how, because when you look at this, it shows you how stupid Dortmund were. Dortmund was supposed to win that damn trophy. Dortmund was supposed to win the Bundesliga because... Obviously, Bayern need a finisher. Obviously, Bayern need a damn defense because Delict is a freaking bozo. He was to blame for this for the second goal. And it's like. I mean, wow, man. But look, man. But but what the funny thing is, I think Kane has come into a team that actually needs him. They need Kane. Because between Delict and Oponikoro, those are two bozos. I think Delict is a great bozo. And with the horrendous finishing from Bayern. They probably do need Kane. <laughs> they probably do need Kane or even Chupo Gotin. But I'm just saying to myself that what if Levy, as a parting gift, puts a spell on Kane, gave him the Spurs losing genius? You know what? You're going to leave us like, like this? I'm going to make sure that you don't win a damn trophy when you play for freaking Bayern. Madness. 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 But Paul, <laughs> we'll talk. What if you never went to trip for bye? Like that video, subscribe if you're new. Head over there for the official website and join us tonight in the hangout where we shall discuss this.